Hello friends, welcome back. Today I am going to discuss uh, this um, particular um, Learn C Day 3 and this is in continuation of earlier blog on uh, C language for beginners and also this is that uh, follow up of uh, uh, print of uh, quiz that uh, quick questions on the print up in this particular block we'll go through various print up options so printing a message on console is one of the important aspect in programming it helps in debugging bootloader kernel user applications so you may find it with various names such as printf in normal your applications and printk in kernel and print line in some uh, Arduino specific code you will see like print line means it will uh, by default um, you know line by line uh, printing using that statement so you might have already tried the first hello world example of C programming. So are you confused with print up options? So this question is basically for students, especially in India who come from CBSC background and learn C++ during higher secondary which has school C out C in kind of printing messages on console just uh, you write C out and then uh, put your um, you know uh, printing message there so when they come across this particular print up option in C so sometimes they get confused and based on that feedback I added this particular in this uh, learn C day 3 so I would like to go through a quick discussion followed by a demo of important features let's try to understand some basic behind printf so when we say normal in the printf that is normally we use one byte character and uh, that particular byte values can be divided into these three categories non printable less than 20 hex it means 0 to 1 f and printable that will be 20 hex to 7 f hex and where 20 is the blank and 31 is 1 so uh, naturally 30 is the 0 and 41 is the capital A and 61 is the A so these things just keep in mind these um, only uh, four ASCII values that may help extended ASCII code start from 80 onwards that is uh, all values in hacks and control characters from the first non printable 0 to 1 f and 7 f delete so these ASCII codes are called control control characters you will see uh, various uh, you know uses of these things what is the escape sequence another terminology we will use that so backslash is the spatial character used along with other characters to make a special command called the escape sequence for example backslash and for new line so similarly you will see like uh, I think this has to be corrected uh, it should be backslash or backslash and and uh, this carry is written line feed so this is for carry is written and this is for line feed and uh, carry is written is basically the terminology taken from old days 
typewriter or digital printer so where a moving carriage is used to hold the paper so after completion of one line there was a mechanism to move back carriage to the original place and that was called carriage return and the mechanism to move to next line called the line feed so here you can see like this carriage is holding this so if you type on this so using this handle like it should move to one direction then if you move to that um, you know once you while you are typing it will move to this direction the carriage and then to make it to the original position you have to manually uh, push it to towards this side or later in the printer and other things they added one button also for this carriage return and the line feed if you push up push this particular lever so it will come to the next line so that is the terminology taken from carriage return and the line feed so but in terms of now we have console available monitors are there so you know terminal output we see that so there actually um, uh, carriage return means returning to the beginning of the line so is the print of use to moving cursor or print position that is the print position to the left no side and a new line character has been used to move cursor or print position to the beginning of the next line so if you use simply this carriage return it will come to the beginning of uh, that uh, you know left most side and if you use that new line character it will go to the next line and the beginning and the implementation as you know the print up is the part of the library or it is the part of the Uh, library being supported so uh, operating system dependencies also there uh, for example mac os only tab r um, may work and in linux uh, tab and tab r tab n and windows only um, uh, sorry backslash n so on a safer side you may use uh, backslash r backslash n so the term this that is called the carriage return line feed so this one so this make sure that next print start from the left side of the new line next line and uh, the first position so other useful escape sequence options is the horizontal tab is there so support of these escape sequence commands depend on the library you can also find some mention of vertical tab also and all those kind of things but uh, we will discuss uh, that most commonly used things here so by the way in the last uh, quiz i provided some code so in that yeah, if you have got a chance to run that so sometime you might have observed that print message is not coming on the console so basically std out is a buffered string and this buffer will be flushed with a new line this should be flushed with a new line or ff flush or buffer stream close or normal exit of the program and the std in and std out uses buffering to reduce system io call overhead so basically whenever there will be uh, normally what happens suppose if you send uh, that whatever the print is there if you uh, immediately send that data to the console so that printing handling has to be done through system call system io calls and even if we keep sending 
for let's say characters or words this data keeps sending to the system so there will be lot of you know system call and lot of cpu cycle will be wastage so that will uh, impact the system performance so if we uh, basically uh, put all this in a buffer and only flush the buffer when required and that control can be done in the following way uh, std in also use um, uh, buffering so std in and std out so that is if you are using terminal so that definitely line buffered means after each line it will basically uh, flush that and if you are using non terminal then it is fully buffered that is basically uh, block wise kind of thing and if uh, for error this is unbuffered so it should immediately come okay so so the condition is that buffer will be flushed when new line either you use new line or use f flush or the buffer stream is closed automatically then it will flush or normal exit of the program normal exit please remember that so this is the reason why you don't see sometimes the print message and i will give you a demo when you will not you know see that uh, message and these things uh, this will be um, corrected in that blog as a flush and uh, which print up options are frequently used let's see that so this is the complete print up option so this sign will is the mandatory so this has to be there within print up and uh, you know if you are uh, passing some argument then it has to be there and this is basically um, flex is the optional then minimum filled with uh, that is that uh, total number of uh, you know um, characters used uh, as a width and uh, we'll see the example also then dot followed by the maximum precision width so you can think of for example uh, if you are uh, printing some numerical things so 5 on let's say um, integer side maximum width and 3 on a um, uh, um, after the radix or decimal side and this may have plex you we can have different uses of this 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 is the lab justify so printing will be done from the left side and if you don't put it this then it is the right justified and if you put plus here and this can be mm, a combination also we'll see that and plus is that it will always display number sign means even if it is a, mm, a positive number then it will say plus uh, the number value if it is a negative then minus or negative value if you don't use this then it will be mm, no uh, sign indication for positive and minus for the negative values and similarly you can use has zero up in this flag so that will be uh, sorry of this o for this uh, insert the octal prefix if you want that then um, if you want hex uh, sub mm, prefix then x and if you want you know decimal point th then this e you have to use that and this side you can have c for single character d for decimal and normally use as you know f for floating number s for a string and um, again you know x for hexadecimal number and this uh, hexadecimal for that uh, notation uh, that uh, how it appears in when the value is written and um, and another important is here and there is the number of characters written so all these other things these options require some argument after that if you see if you are expecting uh, let's say percentage c so it means it expects some argument after the print up um, followed by um, you know we'll see that uh, print up this particular option that comma and that particular argument that will be in this case character value 
so only in this particular case uh, here it um, uh, does not require any argument there so it is used for um, uh, basically uh, calculating the number of characters uh, printed up to that point and it will pass that value one argument only the argument will be passed that will that will be the variable where this uh, number has to be stored uh, you know address to the variable that also we'll see in the example and uh, so this was just a brief and let's go through the example demo so uh, for better un understanding of all these things give me two minutes Yeah, so um, let's see the example here and uh, so here you will see in the main uh, first of all uh, let me go through that uh, printable and non printable demo and uh, I will just start it. and uh, I can show you the code also uh, in this function so um, it is based on the different hex values it will display you know this is a printable character or this is for um, uh, zero uh, you know uh, numeric upper case letter lower case so those that kind of demo is there where this particular printf is using this uh, you know tab and then ascii value then it is using this uh, hex notation here you can see that using this hex notation this capital x means capital uh, hex value will be there if you put a small then it will show a small you know in the hex value small letter and then again tab then this is that basically character and this uh, you know this i is in the for loop that is being uh, passed for hex as well as for uh, you know displaying the character uh, corresponding to that so this is the format complete format here so let me go through that so switch to debugging mode I will just step over this function so um, all that for loop everything you know it will pass and it will show this particular screen here and uh, here you can see so I have uh, printed that uh, even non printable the character corresponding to non printable I have put here so you can see what it is showing basically and uh, this is the printable character uh, numbers started now and uh, again uh, this is the alphabet so uh, this side is that you can see that in the uh, capital hex value right side is that uh, you know corresponding character a small letter and after that um, you know extended ascii character so here um, that if print the character there is no meaning so uh, this is used for um, you know other purposes like um, similar to the control character so but I am uh, just displaying all that values um, which are up to 
FF that you will see in the all extended it is displaying similar kind of um, you know um, print uh, so this is basically for uh, our all uh, printable non printable thing and after that uh, print option let's try to understand this um, print option so this is especially for number system that uh, let me go through that and first here you can see like width I have used and I have used left justified and plus notation and that uh, five you know integer side three decimal side and now this for the same number let's see that uh, output here so as expected plus notation is there and um, this particular number will be there Please note that um, floating point uh, notation here for data type F. And next one is uh, the with the same setting, just I am passing the negative value here. You can see the notation. Now next is with the same, I am uh, passing the exponential. So you can see that format. Now uh, we have right now um, only the left justified, no, uh, you know, uh, uh, plus sign here for notation. But for the negative by default, it should show the negative sign. And this is the floating. So you can see here the number of, um, you know, uh, after the decimal, how many, whatever we control up to three. And uh, this one is basically, uh, I just increase this number and, um, and you can see this is for hexadecimal number and uh, here. You can see that uh, hexadecimal representation of this 144. After that, if we put a zero here, so this is right justified. So, uh, so far we are using left justify. If we use the right justify and fill all the places on the left side as zero, so how it will look like? Please note, I am not using uh, notation here. So, 0, 0, 0 on left side, it is right justified. So, 9, 0 will be there because I am not using this notation. If we use the left with the same value, so definitely left justified. So there is no meaning of uh, zero before that. So this way, basically, um, we can represent different uh, numbers. And you might have seen I, I am using almost, um, you know, uh, most of the options. And uh, for example, left justified and then uh, hacks notation, then uh, with uh, you know uh, both kind of with and then that uh, data uh, type whatever the argument type so this is uh, one demo regarding this and let's see another demo that is uh, different kind of control character impact so in this particular case First of all, I have uh, already explained this will be just a new line. Next, uh, 
because this is the um, tab r tab n so we expect that output after the output that uh, cursor will go to the next line first position okay so um, it will be printed from th uh, that actually now this is only uh, you know uh, carries return and after this so there is no uh, new line so uh, this will be buffered so we will not see any output actually in this if i run this so this is what i told that you will not get output if you don't have new line there so i am flushing this so now you will see the output please note that we have moved you know use the carry return so after this printing this this is just basically um, buffer out after the printing we expect this to come to the first place so but not new line so this particular print will overwrite and it will move to the new line now you notice this after this print there will be uh, one print there will be tab and uh, still uh, with the tab but there is no new line so uh, the output was not there when i use new line so both the output will be displayed together and tab uh, you know you can see the tab impact here and uh, last one again uh, you know uh, this uh, without uh, new line character so it will output this one okay so this is the just to show the impact of tab new line and carry return very simple and uh, let's see that uh, how the count character uh, matters actually so what i have done here so in the for loop if first time uh, means uh, count is initialized as zero so first time it will use this particular uh, print up so in this print up what i am doing it will print one string that is nothing but address to this count uh, this my string that is three star and please note that in any string uh, string used to be here null terminated means three character followed by there will be one by default um, uh, null uh, terminator that we will check here and I, I can show you that here Uh, let me go inside this so then we will come to know that and then what it is doing once this is initialized now you can see here star and last one is the uh, null character so here you can see like it is showing 3 but actual length is 4 so what it is doing here it is printing this string first uh, based on this particular um, you know start address of that um, array and then n means whatever printed it will take this uh, count that in uh, this n is for that purpose uh, number of characters uh, you know in the output uh, from this print command so that it will pass to this count so that address I have given and count initialize as the integer so, so that initially it should do this so next time what I am going to do in the next line now notice here it is percentage star C so it will take star means I am passing this from outside that is the count it means and that uh, argument is character one blank character and what is the meaning of this basically if you use simply percentage 5c it means it will start printing the next 
data whatever the character after five spaces so in this particular case i am passing star it it means it will take from here so i i am passing count minus two so count is basically three plus one that is four four minus two is two so basically why i am doing this so that after two in the third place it should put my star and then again number of um, this uh, spaces uh, you know and plus this uh, whatever uh, uh, whatever it is printed in the count and the loop continues let's see how it happens here and uh, so you can see uh, three star and again three and here it pattern will be like this so you can see that count is basically keep incrementing you know so this kind of pattern will be created using this so with this uh, the uh, the idea to demo that with this number of characters counted you can have a specific kind of format for your um, print if you want uh, you know leave that particular space and if i go to further uh, let me come out of this okay so next is um, that um, what is the impact of buffering by the way so uh, let me try to explain this particular thing so here uh, what i have done uh, a for loop is there so right now buffering is there and tab r so you will see that uh, here delay is given after each um, you know uh, print but because this only there is no new line so you will not see output okay you will see output only when it comes here let me try to put a breakpoint here okay so what will happen after that um, i will pass this particular mm, uh, new line you know then let me run it and see what happens here so it is saying uh, print up with this message because there is a new line so that is there after that there is no output so the moment i will use this you will see the output but how fast it is like you can see immediately this um, uh, appear uh, it means that it it is not uh, basically um, uh, using this delay here now uh, in this particular case if you use this um, you know uh, new line letter so this is the thing especially when you are using a w if you need this delay uh, so definitely you need this new line here um, or you must have some other provision okay so uh, what is that other provision uh, that we will discuss below so here actually um, one thing is that like we, we could have um, flushed out every time and then delay so um, it, it could have appear um, you know that uh, particular um, del with delay so it is not there is no delay because it the delay was used uh, when it put this into the buffer but later we it is just uh, you know uh, flushing the buffer so there is no delay so what is the another method we can disable this buffering itself so this is uh, useful if you don't want any kind of delay in your uh, print statement especially in uh, uh, you know debugging some application or especially in uh, embedded domain and so also so th this kind of support should be there so for that what i did set buff std out that is the null okay so this is supported in glibc so uh, if i pass this now the same delay and same command 
and uh, but now you will see that each time output will be there and delay will be there so if i run it now you will see that it is clearly visible you know uh, some delay so it is not like immediately it is come jumping to uh, 9999 okay so this is up to uh, 5 okay 5000 only uh, so mm, uh, that's why mm, okay so but that uh, buffer impact is clear okay so uh, this is that um, uh, point i wanted to mm, cover and uh, let me go through so I hope uh, you understood like, um, you know, the importance of, um, you know, what the printable character control escape sequence and, uh, you know, buffering kind of thing. Uh, so uh, with the demo, okay, uh, thanks for your time.